So, James and Izzy, welcome to the beautiful Grimsorp shooting ground. Sort of a nice day out for you. Can you just give me a little bit of background about your own shooting background, anything that you're worried about, anything you'd like to work on? Uh, well, I've been shooting for quite a long time. I learned when I was, was young, mostly game shooting. Okay. Lots of bad habits baked in. Uh, I need to definitely practice more, more clay pigeons. So actually this is a really useful day and, and looking forward to it hugely. Perfect. Izzy, what about yourself? Bit of shooting with dad over the years, not much, but um, always had a bit of a go. Yeah, I'd really like to get, sort of get properly into it, so this will be a good back to basics. And, okay, um, so start you from the ground up yeah, and I just get you really comfortable with yeah, sort of foundation exactly, level stuff. Exactly, and um, yeah, go from there really. Perfect, okay, let's go out and do some. Oh wow, okay. Okay, yep. that's, that's, that's the spirit, I like it. Right. I, can, I can feel the positivity. <laughs> What I've seen when we're doing the warm-up, yeah. you've got a very fixed timing of, you tend to rush your gun mount a little bit, mm -hmm. throw the gun up into the shoulder, and then there's a split second, and you send the shot. Yes. Almost irrespective of what's coming out, okay? Yeah. I need to get you comfortable on some of these targets where you're gonna to have to generate a bigger lead to spend a little bit longer with the bird, yeah. and use that time stretching away. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you'll find that your consistency improves, because that's one of the things that you said earlier on, yeah. you find it's very much, some days it works, some days it doesn't work. I'd like to try and sort of finesse that down a little bit and just yeah. try and make it a little bit neater for you, okay? okay? Let's have a little bit of a look at the target. So first thing is, I think that for me is the place to kill the target before okay. it starts dropping off and doing too much, okay? Mm -hmm. You've got quite a big window of sky here. Rather than just putting the gun up and pulling the trigger at a spot, yeah. I want to get you comfortable mounting the gun near the target and then having a long deliberate stretch away into lead, okay? okay. At the moment, the problem I've got with your shooting is because you just tend to mount the gun and pull the trigger, you're probably not going to be massively aware of what we call lead pictures, so mm -hmm. how much you gave something. It's just yeah. you're punching into a space, the bird's catching your gun up, and a lot of your shots have been going behind. Yes. I want to try build a little bit of a drive in the gun so you can stretch your lead out and actually apply a two, three, four, five foot lead over space rather okay. than just trying to chop the target off. If we set you up to kill the target around here, yeah. we're going to come gun out of the shoulder, but mm. maybe not quite as far down as you are. So we're yeah, going to yeah. start a little bit closer to the shoulder okay. pocket. You're going to look to the left, and as you see the target coming, slow, smooth mount up and a big stretch away. Don't feel that you've got to just chop the target off. I want you to spend time opening the lead up, okay? okay? Yep. It's going to feel probably noticeably slower to you. Yes. And that's absolutely what we're looking for, okay? okay. Don't look so surprised. <laughs> Right, that as a movement actually was absolutely fine. Don't worry yeah. about the fact that that bird didn't break. One of the things I'd like to get you comfortable with now is just the idea of a different move yes. compared to what you've been doing. It should feel much slower, much more mm. controlled. One of the side effects of that should be you start to actually see your relationship between the gun and the target. Brilliant. Brilliant shot, James. Ooh. Good shot. Right, where do you think you missed the second one? Just in front. Yeah, just in front, just off the bottom edge. Yeah. So one of the things that you're going to find is a, a hopefully an advantage of spending a bit more time with the targets mm. is you're going to get a lot more feedback from when the tar when the shot doesn't work. Yes. Right in the middle of that one. Pull. Would you say you can now sort of get a better understanding of where the gun is relative to the target? You Much. see where I'm driving Yeah. At? No, yeah. totally. Feels smoother, much more controlled. Much more controlled. So if we can slow the whole process down, make it a much smoother, more controllable process, the outcomes are going to be infinitely better for you. Brilliant. That's really good work. Well done. Okay. Okay, so we're going to shoot a slightly faster crossing target than what you've yep. done on the practice stands. Yep. Just going to explain to you before we start why it's a little bit different, okay? Mm -hmm. Coming across. Yep. Plenty of time. Okay. This is going to be the area that I'm looking to get you to kill the target. Yep. This is quite a, a three-dimensional bird, okay? This okay. is actually doing a few things at once. Yep. You can see that obviously the target is going from left to right. It's also dropping down because the yep. trap's been tilted over, so it's curling. Okay. So you're going to have to build a two-dimensional picture into it. So it's going to be in front of the target to the right and underneath the bird, okay. okay? It's also curling away from you a little bit, but that's not gonna have too much impact on you as a shooter. We're gonna take a little bit of a screenshot of it, just as it gets to your kill point, bang. 
and you can see that if it was in the middle of a clock face, it would be coming out at like the four o'clock. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So when you've connected to the target, you're going to pull away from the bird on that four o'clock line. Because it's coming across you at a right angle and it's quite quick, yeah. you're going to have to shoot a little bit further in front of it yeah. than the stuff we've been doing. I think the way that you perceive it, you're going to have to get about okay. that far in front, which yeah. out at the target is going to be about 18 inches. Okay. Okay. Get yourself comfortable with where you're killing the target, which I think is going to be almost over that chop down tree. Yeah. So foot position and stance is going to be set for there. Yeah. You're going to come just over halfway back which yeah. again, if we come to the edge of these trees and a little bit higher, look to the left and as the target comes towards your barrel, it's gonna be a nice smooth stretch away to that four o'clock side. Okay. Get a couple of shots under your belt. Let's see how you go. Your move there was good. Yeah. Nice and controlled, nice good stretch away from the bird. You yeah. almost came out towards three o'clock. So, so your lead down. laterally was great, yeah. but we need to come down to that four o'clock because remember the target's dropping and curling away, yeah. okay? Get the target shot a touch earlier, purely because we're planning on killing the okay. bird here. You're okay. tending to shoot it here. So As you let far. the bird go, it's dropping progressively more and more, okay? Yeah. If it helps you, because I think you're, you're actually moving the gun really nicely, let's just pull your hold point to where you start the gun slightly closer in, yeah. just so you can let the target get to your barrel earlier and give yeah, you a little right. bit more time to push okay. away. So I don't want you shooting the bird any quicker. Yeah. I just want the bird getting more to your gun time. sooner. Push away. Yeah. That's great, thanks Ed. No, absolute pleasure. Simple things, getting yourself used to the timing, yeah. get your stance right, yeah. understand where the bird's going in space. Yeah. And once your brain's kind of understood the picture, it's actually quite easy yeah, to Yeah, and I think having the hold time a little bit before, yep. being able to follow it through and then take that shot rather than rushing it. You could see when help. you waited out there for too long, you were too tempted to just go out into a point in space. Yeah. Brilliant, Perfect. well done. Thank you. Super. Okay, James, so we're on stand 11, simultaneous pairs. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna be covering any new ground here as such. It's gonna be following on from what we did earlier on slowing you down, getting used to spending a little bit of time with the target. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to work even harder here because there's going to be two targets in the air, yeah. but you have got time to shoot them, okay? Mm -hmm. So the worst thing you can do here is panic the first shot off because it yeah. actually makes it harder and it's not going to give you any advantage on the second bird. It's yeah. going to be two very slow, controlled moves. We're going to slow the hands down on your mount so it's not mm -hmm. going to be throwing the gun up into your shoulder and panicking off. Yeah. Slow and steady, stretch away from the first bird, bang. And then your incomer is going to be rolling and dropping. And as you've seen, it's just a slow, steady move underneath the target. So yep. although it is a pair, think of it in your mind as two single targets, okay? Slow and steady wins the race. Let's go and have a go at them. Got it. Everything's right on that second pair, just too quick. The first pair was brilliant. One of the things that should jump out at you here is that it's actually very difficult to spend too long with them. Yes. You've got a lot more time yeah. than you think, so just get your brain used to it. I know at the moment it's not going to feel normal, mm. but yeah, so yeah. far you haven't run out of space. You've still got time yeah. to do it, so just use a little bit more time on the first bird. Everything's going to ease up for you. Absolutely perfect. It should feel like it's slow yeah. motion. And when you start getting to accept how much more time you've got, yeah. everything slows down, it becomes so much easier. Okay, Izzy, so we're gonna come in stand one here and shoot a fast going away bird for you, which is a little bit different to what we were doing before. Okay. This yep. is something where I'm actually gonna try and get you to be a little bit more reactive. I know the targets we've done so far have been slow, steady, and trying to get you used to controlling the gun. Yep. I'm gonna get you to well, I'm gonna explain to you the setup of this shot and then show you how it wants to be a much shorter, more instinctive movement, okay? okay. So with the going away bird, a couple of things you've got to bear in mind. The yep. angle of the target is very shallow, which means it's pretty much going to take no lead. So this okay. is almost a case of shooting at the bird, okay? Yep. In this case, it's going slightly left, so you're going to bias yourself on the left-hand edge, but okay. that's going to be it. Second thing is, the longer you spend with this bird, the harder it gets. It's getting further away from you, curling, rolling, dropping. So it's an advantage to be able to shoot the bird reasonably instinctively, reasonably quickly, okay? okay. I'm gonna show you a target now. So it's coming from the trap in front of us, over the top of those bushes. I want you to be able to kill that before it starts rolling away, okay? okay? So yep. that's pretty much 12 o'clock over the top of those bushes in front. Yeah. We're actually gonna come just a fraction down to the right-hand side. So on the end of your gun, it's gonna be maybe an inch, and then you're gonna to look to the right-hand side of the gun, and as the target comes to your barrel, move straight into it 
and push onto the left-hand side and shoot. There doesn't want to be any double checking, hand-to-eye coordination, looking at the left-hand edge of the target, moving yeah. your hands into it and pulling the trigger. Okay. Okay. Head down on the stock for me. That's it, so you're looking down the barrels. Perfect. Pull. Really short move, yeah. really controlled, watching the bird come, front edge, pull the trigger, absolutely spot on, do a few more, get yourself comfortable, that's superb. Pull. Brilliant. So that's a perfect example there of doing less to get more out. Really yes. short, instinctive move, it's not yeah. all about measuring things out and taking your time, there's a time and a place for instinctive yeah. shooting. You've done that really, really well. Fantastic, perfect. good Brilliant. job. thanks Ed. How's the day been? What have you learned? It's been great. I've learned all about my stance, how I'm standing, whole point. A few of the ones that have come out in front, I've sort of moved my whole point back a little bit. And visual discipline, so having that whole point and then looking back to the clay and then watching it come over. I think, well, it's the same for me, about yeah. slowing down actually, doing, yeah. doing everything in a much more measured yes. way, taking time for me, mounting more slowly. I've hit some things that I was never hitting at the beginning of the day, so yeah. it's been amazing. Has Fabulous been day. Good. Yeah, brilliant. So I think we should go and have a little bit of a competition, see who's um, the better shot. Okay, yeah. bring it on, bring it bring on. It on. Um, I think the only way to fairly deal with this is rock, paper, scissors for whoever gets the choice of going first or second. And then I'll get you on a Tenberg competition and see who comes out on top. Rock, paper, scissors. That was a cheat. <laughs> we'll go again. <laughs> <laughs> you keep. <laughs> two, two, yeah. What ball. would you like to do? I'll go second. I'll go first. Okay. Yeah. Game on. So the first bird's going to be a nice long stretch into what appears to be quite a big lead. Yeah. And then you're going to have to spend a little bit more time with the second bird like we've done, slowing it yeah. down, connecting onto the target. Let's see how you go. Okay. Head target. Much too fast. Much too yeah. fast. Right. There you go. Five out eight. of eight. Six scored. All right, darling. Let's give it a go. Remember when you shot this one from the left, we only did a couple because it was when we're starting off. Yep. As it comes in towards your barrels, nice, smooth, confident move into a reasonably big bit of space. And this is another yep. one where holding onto it for too long is not going to help you. Yeah. When you shot that, come down just over the top of the machine, so eight or 10 foot high, yeah. and just ride that bird out, let it come all the way in, and just yeah. as it hangs, you're gonna shoot bottom left, okay? okay? Six to beat. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's go for it. Right, here's the second one. Do you not oh. want that one? <laughs> ah, good girl! Absolute that, animal. I right, just do that for five pairs. That's brilliant. Pleased with what you've done on the first <laughs> one. I don't even bother doing anything else here. It's all over. Okay, so, so the only thing you really need to do better is tie in a slightly need to transition, which is when you've shot the first one. <laughs> Remember the second bird's coming, okay. but awesome start. Right, yeah. go again. First shot was actually good. You got slightly too far in front, but it was a really, yeah. really good shot. You left your gun too high on the second one, which is why you couldn't see it. Yes. So when you shot the first shot. one, yeah. come a little bit lower, yeah. see the bird come over your barrel, and then connect and ride okay. it out. Brilliant. Drop the barrels, wait for it. Awesome. Whoa. Brilliant. Wait for the second target, ride it out. Oh. Hey. Who won that? You. Me. Did yeah. I? It's Done absolutely Ed. brilliant. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Really good. Well done, That's okay. Learned lots no, today. Really so enjoyed. much. I'm going to, I don't really need, I can just go do some plays out, you know. There yeah. you go. See, Lesson completely now. saw the confidence yeah. up now. It's game on. Definitely. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's brilliant. No, really enjoyed that. Well yeah, done. thank you so much. No, well done. Amazing. Both Very good. Thank well you. Done. Thank you, Ed. That was amazing.